Hello there. This is the Sounds American channel. In this video, we're going to talk about the American consonant sound sh, as in the word show. You can also hear this sound in words like ship, cash, option, or chef. We'll be using this cute phonetic symbol sh for this sound. As always, let's begin with some phonology. Take it easy, it's not complicated. The sh belongs to a category of consonant sounds called the fricatives. This is the largest group of consonants in American English. It consists of nine different sounds. Take a look. F as in few. V as in view. S as in hiss. Z as in his. Sh as in fashion. Z as in vision. Th as in think. V as in this. And h as in happy. So, why are they called the fricative consonants? All these sounds are made by partially blocking the air moving through your mouth, which creates an audible friction. Speaking about the sh consonant, this sound is made by partially blocking the air flowing between the blade of your tongue and the roof of your mouth. The sh occurs in only 40% of the world's languages, but in English, it's found in about 8% of words. Well, it's not the most frequent sound, but it sounds American. We like it as much as any of the others. So, to support this adorable consonant, Let's find out how to make it correctly. Slightly open your mouth and round your lips. You may push them out a little. Now, focus on your tongue. Arch your tongue and raise it to the roof of your mouth, but don't touch it. Make sure there's a small gap between them. Next, Release a stream of air over your tongue. When the air flows between the blade of your tongue and the roof of your mouth, it'll create lots of noise. Something like this. Shh. Remember, the fricatives are continuous sounds, and so is the shh consonant. Let's try and stretch it out. Ready? Shh. Excellent. How about one more time? Here are a few typical mistakes that people make when pronouncing this sound. Number one. Some Spanish speakers confuse the sh and the ch sounds. As you may have already guessed, it leads to misunderstandings. Compare. Ditch, dish, chop, shop. Make sure that you don't stop the air before making the sh sound because that's exactly how the ch sound is made. Number two. Another problem is that some non native English speakers replace the sh with the S consonant, especially when it occurs at the beginning of words. The sh gets distorted when you move the tip of your tongue too close to your alveolar ridge. Compare see, she, sell, shell. See? These are completely different words. 
Number three. And finally, always keep in mind the vowel length rule. The sh is a voiceless consonant, so vowel sounds before the sh are typically shorter than they are before voiced consonants. Compare the length of the i vowel when it's before the voiced zh and the voiceless sh sounds. Vision. Mission. We talked about the vowel length rule in detail in one of our previous videos. Don't forget to check the link in the description below. Okay, let's switch from theory to practice. After all, this is the most important part of the whole lesson. This is how it works. You'll see a word on the screen and hear its pronunciation. Like this. Blush. You'll have a few seconds to pronounce the word. Try to go through as many words as possible. Let's start with the sh when it's represented by the combination of the letters sh. Blush. Bush. Dish. Finish. Fish. Leash. Publish. Push. Shake. Share. Shine. Short. Shut. Shy. Wash. Let's pause for a second and catch our breath. Next, we'll practice words where this sound is represented by the letter CH and the letter C. It's still the same SH sound, just a different spelling. Let's continue. Associate Chef Chicago Commercial. Especially. Financial. Gracious. Grocery. Machine. Ocean. Official. Social. Special. Species. Sufficient. Fantastic! Now let's practice pronouncing words in which the sh sound is represented by the letter T. By the way, don't forget that the sh is a continuous sound, and you have to make the vowel before it short. Let's do it. Action. Completion. Condition. Construction. Corporation. Definition. Dictionary. Election. Emotion. 
fiction, function, intuition, location, patient, tradition. You're done. Congratulations. You may have already noticed, but we'll say it again. There's no special letter for the sh fricative in English. We know life is hard, which is probably why this sound is represented by a number of various letters and combinations of letters. Take a look. Most often, it's written as the letter T, like in the word station or option. Next is the combination of letters SH, as in she and wish. Also, this sound is represented by the letter C, like in delicious or ocean, and by one or two letters S, as in sugar or pressure. Sometimes, the sh is represented by the combination of letters ch, like in chef and machine. This may look complicated, but it's really not. There are phonics rules for these spellings. Let us know if you're interested. Click like if you like this video. Share this video with your friends, pets, and relatives. Don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned on our Sounds American channel.